what's going on y'all this is your girl the mad queen 88 and i'm coming at y'all with just a short video to talk about uh some terrible news that dropped friday the 21st from telltale games um and it looks like they made an announcement to say that they are doing a uh, majority studio closing whatever that means but they dropped the statement on Friday um, basically letting us know this I'll go ahead and read from the statement today Telltale Games made the difficult decision to begin a majority studio closure following a year marked by insurmountable challenges a majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfill the company's obligations to its board and partners CEO Pete Howley issued the following statement. It's been an incredibly difficult year for the Telltale as we worked to set the company on a new course. Unfortunately, we ran out of time trying to get there. We released some of our best content this year and received a tremendous amount of positive feedback, but ultimately that did not translate into sales. With a heavy heart, we watch our friends leave today to spread our brand of storytelling across the games industry. Telltale will issue further comments regarding its product portfolio in the coming weeks. That's like mind blowing. Um, I read a few articles and other sources are saying uh, around 250 employees were let go uh, for the studio closing and they didn't even have like time to pack and, and vacate the, the studio like they had minutes to do so. Um, so just hearing that that news itself is is terrible uh um my thoughts are out there for the developers artists and all the talents and people that worked for telltale um who are affected um by this this terrible thing that's going on by the studio closure how did this even happen let's talk about how did it happen um based on the statement that was released they're saying that they were just not making enough money um they were getting a lot of praise i know especially for the release of telltale's the walking dead final season all the changes that they made to the gameplay and how they have just been continuing a great story and building on it and finally coming to the final season uh they got you know all types of praise for this game but they said it didn't transfer into sales um and just in my opinion, uh, me being that I've only played Telltale's The Walking Dead, um, I haven't tried any of the other titles. I know a lot of people are fans of The Wolf, the wolf Among Us. They're fans of the Batman series or uh, Minecraft. I mean, there's so many titles to love from this company. But the issue is that Telltale Games itself is a niche of niches <laughs> I guess that's the way you can say it it's a niche of niches because it's the storytelling genre itself is a, a difficult genre not everybody likes to play these types of games in fact a lot of people rather just watch other people stream them so they can watch a story as opposed to purchasing the game themselves and playing it um, on top of that uh, each title within uh telltale's domain are niche stories niche games people that love the walking dead might not be interested in playing the wolf among us or people that like the guardians of the galaxy series might not be interested in playing the game of thrones series so um their their full fan base was never really buying all of the games and that I think led to them not really getting the amount of money that they could be getting if they had titles that um, everybody in their fan base were, was purchasing. Everything was kind of a niche. So um, I think that has a lot to do with why they weren't getting the money that they expected to get or thought they could get to maintain their studio. Um, and it's unfortunate because, you know, while we not, might not be fans of every single title they released we come to love the titles that we do enjoy and i know that even though this was going to be the final season of the walking dead i looked forward to them maybe coming out with something else that i would be interested in and, and wanting to play often so uh it's just unfortunate that um they kind of started this genre of gameplay and um did very well in it uh, only for them to not succeed and need to close so the biggest 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 question is what's going to happen now 
Um, a lot of fans are uneasy about the standing of some titles that we were looking forward to. I think the most pressing right now is Telltale's The Walking Dead. It's in its final season. We have one episode out already, and the second episode is due to drop next week. Um, but what does this studio closing mean for the remaining two episodes? Um, this series was only going to be, uh, this season was only going to be four episodes instead of five. Um, but with this closing, what does it mean for the final two episodes? Um, I think Telltale The Walking Dead um, kind of helped Telltale Games uh, get the name that they have now. They won so many awards from the first season of this game, um, and it kind of put them on the map for great storytelling. Uh, so it would suck if they just leave this title where it is, especially since people pre-ordered all four episodes. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's just up in the air. I feel like they really owe the fan base uh, for this title to, to finish this season, especially since it's the final season. Um, and what's sad is it's looking like the final season of The Walking Dead very well might be the final season for a Telltale period. Um, there were a lot of you know, good things on the horizon. They were talking about The Wolf Among Us too. I know a lot of people were excited about that. Uh, and then they were also talking about dropping a Stranger Things series. And I was going to be excited for that one. I feel like that was gonna take the place of The Walking Dead for me. Um, and it's just looking like it's not gonna happen. They're not gonna be able to push those two full games and the remainder of The Walking Dead with 25 employees. It's just not gonna happen. Um, so, yeah, is this is just a very terrible situation. I'm really hoping that they do Telltale The Walking Dead justice and drop the last two episodes as they should, especially since people have pre-ordered. Um, and I just hope the people that did get affected, got laid off, uh, find other places in the industry because they're talented people. Um, anyways, you guys, how are you feeling about uh, Telltale Games closing down? Were there any titles that you were looking forward to uh, that won't get dropped? And do you think that they were going to drop the last two episodes of Telltale's The Walking Dead? I really hope so. I really want to fin finish this series up. So anyways, guys, let me know how you're feeling down in the comments. I'm your girl, the Mad Queen 88 I hope I don't have to make more videos like this. This is a very sad video, but I definitely wanted to let you guys know how I'm feeling about it. So, uh, so yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.